outer orange. Let's go get started. So guys, we have a band that's coming up. It's mainly for Japan. Welcome in. Hello. Hi, 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 hi. Hello, hello. Chances are they'll release theirs and then ours will be like a week or two later for the English side. So just a heads up, don't get like super excited. It could also be different from like what they're getting versus what we're getting. And um, I honestly don't even know what to expect out of this band list, but I kind of wanted to do like a prediction one of what I think might get hit more so than what like actually, like I, I'm, I'm gonna, you know, be boosted for a second and be like, what are they gonna hit? You know, it's more like that. I guess going down the formats, I don't even think they're going to do anything over on their side. I watched Kai's video recently because I was really trying to brainstorm what in the world they could possibly ban or unrestrict or or change. And I think it, over in, Jap in Japan's side, I don't think they're going to touch anything, to be honest with you. They, I, I, I didn't even know. I thought they had the V premium hits that we had with the premium hits with the Colossus and the Stunverse, but I don't think they do actually. So if they don't, I, I actually can definitely see that happening. My thoughts, at least on J Japanese side, I don't think they're going to hit anything in D. I think they might because I actually didn't know. But in case, if if it's true that the the restriction list that we have for V and Premium, the one with Colossus and Stunverse on it, if they don't have it, I could definitely see that falling over to their side. And then for pre and other than that, I don't think anything else is going to get hit. They might potentially touch Jet, but it would be kind of a risky touch. Like personally, I could definitely see Jets. So the thing about Jet is going to be in meta for a while. So because it's going to be in the meta for a while, there is a chance that they might touch something in Jet. But to be honest with you guys, even if they choice restrict like Swirler and Jet, they'll just find another Soul Charger. They'll just lose that like early power. Well, sorry, not early power. They'll lose the late game stride power that Swirler provides, but it won't stop the deck from constantly drawing and Soul Charging. So that's the only thing. But my thing, my thoughts are Japan's list is going to be pretty, pretty weak. Um, I do recommend that they take the that they take the V and premium analyst that we have and apply it because um, they're not gonna have a fun time playing V premium over there with uh, with tier zero of steam aliens. I'm not gonna lie. The run of the Chronogen and Messiah Crest. See, that's a thought that um, I've thought about a couple times. But the issue is that it's part of the product, and I don't think they're gonna touch the product. So I think the crest is staying just as it is. There's discussions about Ava. Potentially there might be a touch. I think I've talked about it in, in, in my discord too. Uh, and why you guys keep wanting assassin on ban? What is wrong with all of you? Stop! Notorious! This is your fault! Potentially choice restricting, not choicing, but choicing to one, the grade one order. I talked about it in discord, talked about it with one of my friends, and then I also saw it on Kai's video. So it's definitely like a topic of interest of potentially choicing Ava to, to have only one of the orders and then yeah you're forced to run the grade two order you could still play the grade one order but then once you use it you lose the effect of your obscurades and all that kind of stuff band di you feel one is too far i personally think two would be a good start and i don't think like i said this is still J japan we're talking about we're not talking about us yet i don't even i don't even think ava needs to be touched on our side but with the results that they have versus the results that we have there might be a might be some room for that right might be might, might be a good decision I think the thing about Ava is like there's no good direct hit aside from that grade one to be honest with you it's like what do you what do you hit like obscurate like you, you can't hit obscurate right you can't hit the grade three I think that's a little too painful like the order grade three like there isn't too many things you can hit you know you start kind of running out of options it really just boils down to the grade one uh because that's what's really carrying the deck in my opinion in terms of how the how it works but we'll have to see we'll see what they do on Japan's side so my thoughts are potential Ava hit potential jet hit V and premium updates for for the Japanese side of things so that way they have the same restriction as us pretty much again and that's probably it on japan's side now if we're going to the english side of things oh boy so personally d's d wise i don't think anything needs to change i know some people are like when when jet and when when ava and blah, blah blah but i think i think in terms of d we're fine we just got the meta we're still figuring it out we don't have ibisu so we have like one less thing to really worry about i think the the balance between all the decks is overall pretty healthy you know results do push towards more jet and ava and like maybe a couple other ones kind of sprinkled in there like leticia and youth obviously but i think overall we're okay we have no yeah exactly that's the other thing so something to keep in mind between all of this we have spring fest coming up and also japan has like the the divagasai stuff coming up so i'm sure this is going to keep in contact like this is going to be in thoughts along with potential lists being touched or whatever like potential ban lists so something kind of keep in mind with divagasai coming out for japan i think restricting the colossus is perfect uh but as for us so going into d first i don't think d needs to be touched at all i think d is perfectly fine and i think we could all agree on that at least i i think that's proper going over to v though i'm not gonna lie i've been one of those people where i'm kind of whatever about maidens i know uh, there's a lot of talk 
you know, a Trahana. Personally, I'm I'm on the side of the people this time around. Y'all want a Trahana ban? Have at it. I don't even care anymore. It's been enough to we've had we've had the meta for a while now. You, if you guys want it gone, you can have it. Actually, the banlist like literally like just happened like what in January, and now we have potential another banlist. <sighs> it hasn't been that long. It feels like it's been long. I don't know if anything will be hit this time for any format. I agree. I personally think personally, if I had to, if I if I really really want to take like a stab at potentially get hits, I can see absolutely nothing changing because it's too soon. And I'm all for that. But if we were to talk predictions, potential chances of something getting hit, I feel like Maidens might get another tap. And I think that'll be it. And personally, I actually think they should just choice the Entrahana from Elu and just call it a day. I think the staleness personally is something that bothers me more than the actual deck. Because we've had like the same deck since like September and we have no new cards. And because we have no new cards, it feels even staler. If we even had like some new cards, aside from the promos, and even though the promos aren't that big of a game changers, they're good, but they're not going to directly change the format that drastically to where we'll have a whole new format. But I think choosing something in Maidens will probably help the for the format be healthier. Uh, it won't make a huge difference because we'll still have the same like top 10 decks, essentially. It'll still be Maidens unless they unless they directly hit a, a Drahana. But, you know, it'll still be Ange, Luard, um, Probably Vanquisher, Night Rose, Astropost probably come back. Uh, I don't know. Like, there's there's a couple of uh, Aqua Force stuff. I, I don't know all the names of them. Novice, whatever his name is. Um, all those decks would probably just come back. And then also, in case, depending on how they ban in Trahana, I can also see Jet or MFD starting to show more results. I agree. Genesis will be a contender for sure. I think Genesis is already, like, kind of up there. I think all the decks that Genesis has access to are all pretty good. Like, Kimiko, Astro Poets, and um, I'm missing one. Kimiko Astro Poets. That can I not? Oh, Fenrir. Fenrir. So I think all three decks are pretty reasonable. There's also Regalia. Yeah, Regalia is pretty good. But honestly, Regalia usually is slapped on as an engine more than like a main deck. So it'll probably be on Himiko or what, or, you know, like whatever else. So I would like to see it just Enshahana restricted with Elu. And then what would happen is Jet and MFD would be able to use Entrahana and it wouldn't completely kill Gear Chronicle as a clan. Like the gear, the gear people could still play gear decks. But they would just be playing other gear decks instead of, you know, Elu. And yes, you can technically put in Glissa in, but it's just not the same in my eyes. And it also gives room to run the Entrohana Gear Cat package in other decks as well, as well, along with the Tiger decks and everything. So personally, I think that's a pretty proper restriction, but that's just me. I think that would be more interesting, and it would still keep that that engine, that really o OP engine, but in decks that need it more, because in my opinion, like obviously in Elu, it's, it's very powerful, but I feel in the other decks, it's not as like potent. So, so it'd be interesting. Plus, MF D like works really well with this, so I, I think I think it'd just be cool. And then over on premium side, the premium is an interesting one. We just recently got like kind of a ban list like not too long ago. So to be honest with you guys, I don't know if they're gonna change too much. But if they were to, if they were to think about it, um, there's the, the Highlander is definitely the top subject. We literally just got a BSF, and every single freaking deck had a highlander in it and we're going to be seeing that for the next probably six months if if you're playing premium and you don't have a teammate playing highlander uh, you know you're kind of you're kind of already messing up are you do you want to top because if you want to top you have to have a, one, at least one person playing highlander personally i think it's between q tire and the reindeer restriction i don't know which way is better because it's personally i'm gonna tell you right now if they ban q tire the deck will still exist and still high roll you to to the living shit you are still going to get high roll to death you would the deck will just have less consistency of getting its pieces but it doesn't mean the deck won't randomly just ride up to reindeer ride up to aneska ride back down to what it wants to and keep going like you, the part, the, there's a lot of options to run cars that force you to ride down. It doesn't have to be but the cars that are currently being used. There actually are even more cars that you can use. So FYI, if people really want to go the ride down engine, they can definitely slap a bunch of cards and make it happen. So honestly, they could choice reindeer with like Heltruda or something. It can go down that route or choice reindeer with like something else. I don't really know. I think if they want to directly touch the deck to where it will fall off meta completely, the, it has to be something related to reindeer. But we'll have to see. Assassin to eight. Gonna, gonna, I'm just gonna. Goodbye, chat. It was nice. Nice knowing you. I'm gonna say just changing the stride rule. I don't even know if we need a stride rule change anymore. I think whatever we're getting in history collection, the new stuff will probably kind of maybe fix some of the issues. I don't really know because going first will be pretty OP. But it's hard to say. I, I, I'm I not really big into the whole, like, how the rules work and all that kind of stuff. Let me move my chair again. We don't. There's no chairs on this stream. This is all standing. 
also don't think they'll hit ride down this balance because we're about to go into all new these rules. yeah exactly so i think we're i don't think they're personally i think the ride down stuff is annoying but and it's it's a problem with the top three decks or top yeah top three decks top, well, top two and then there's one like extra one depending how you want to look at it but you know maintenance and and highlander have the biggest best ride down engine but actually there's one more which is dolls dolls is an insanely good ride down deck and actually the deck itself is insanely good on its own so uh just fyi if you did if you weren't aware dolls is actually pretty powerful so that being said that was too that was a pretty good ride down i think it's a little bit more inconsistent and i think the deck wants to stride more than anything else so i think you just try to say screw it but regardless you know um there that's like the main ones because of that like we're going to mainly talk about the, the first three i mentioned because those are definitely more potent in my eyes than than anything aqua force is currently doing but um with that being said with those three decks being pretty potent you can also take a team with all three of those and you'll probably you'll probably win as long as you know how to play the game and you know ot doesn't screw you over or something like that right uh but ride on is just kind of weird like i, I the thing is ride on is like a specific it just kind of depends on what's going on in meta too you know so I don't know i think i think they can not touch ride down have the history collection stuff come out i think we'll be okay I, it's a big i think i'm not 100 percent. i think we'll be okay i, I don't really know because the thing is we don't even have all the cards out yet we don't know exactly what they're gonna do we don't know if everyone's getting the gifts or not or how they're doing the whole thing like we don't really know what the what's gonna be like and because of that it's hard kind of hard to say like what's what the better choice is so we'll have to see but we'll see. I mean, would I like Ride on the Go? I guess. Like, I don't well, personally. I don't really hate Ride on as much as other people do. It's annoying, but I don't know. I've been testing Gribbly recently, and I have been having a blast going into Ride on decks because I just, I just ride up, and then and then I have a Night Rose turn, and then they're like, oh no, a Night Rose turn, and then they go to like four or five damage, and then I survive their turn because guess what? I'm Grand Blue, and then I just murder them with Bartholomew. It's actually been really fun. It's been a great time. So personally, I've been having a party. Just a little recap. As I'll probably making a video off of this because why the hell not? Japan side, same ban list as us. For VMP, maybe a small baby hit to Jet and Ava. We'll have to see. And then over to English side, we it might be a while, by the way, y'all, if we get anything. My top thing is we're probably not going to see any hits because Springfest is coming on. If we were to, I think uh, Enter Hana Gang or Shichu Elu would be a really good choice, or they might just ban the card completely. And then for Premium, something something with Q Tire and Reindeer potentially, hopefully Reindeer Preferred. And then, uh, yeah, I think we mentioned V. Yeah, v, and then nothing in D. I don't think anything needs to be touched in D on the English side. And I think that's it. Give Gun Salute Dragon support. See, this is this is the true take. Ban every single card in Pale Moon, but Gun Salute Dragon. Ban every Every single card in, in in Bermuda Triangle, everything, just every single card on the list. Ban everything in Steam Maidens. Uh, ban like half of Grand Blue, um, and then give a beautiful stride to Gunsalute Dragon. And then after after we get a good stride for Gunsalute Dragon, then we uh, become then we make Gunsalute Dragon tier zero, and then we never touch it again. And we never we just never touched it. It would just be forever Gunsalute Dragon meta in premium, and it'll it'll be Chef's Kiss, a dream. Ban everything, just ban everything, but like three decks. Uh, the, the other two decks have to be way worse than Gunsalute Dragon. Like, it has to be Gunsalute Dragon is tier zero. And then the other ones are, like, kind of tier one because there's no other decks to pick from. And then they have a fighting chance. Like, it's one of those, like, fighting chances. Like, you think you're going to win, but, you know, Gunsalute Dragon is just so OP that it'll just win. But the reason why you still want it to be close is so that way people don't take Gunsalute Dragon. So they take the other two crappy decks. And then what happens is Gunsalute Dragon wins. It's great.